Now in this video we're going to cover some more of the editing features of Camtasia. Now then, uh, in particular we're going to go over transitions and the zoom and pan. Now one thing to keep in mind again is that all the work we're doing here as far as editing takes place down here in the timeline. And the marker right here, this green arrow, which now turns red, this shows us where we are currently at as far as the uh, timeline. And we want to get this guy back over here to the beginning. You can either just, um, well, the way I do it is I just hold my left mouse button down here and drag this guy all the way back to the beginning. You can also just uh, hit this here and that will move this back as well. So anywho, we're at the beginning. Now then, I got two title clips in here that I showed you how to do on a previous video. Go up here to transitions, left click, and these are the various transitions that we can choose from. And I kind of like the pixelate one. And you can see here the different title clips, I'm sorry, the different movie clips that we have in here. And you can have quite a few of them. You just um, pick the transition that you want, and you can always come back and change this too. But we're going with pixelate. You just hold your left mouse button down, drag it on down, left mouse button, drag it on down. And now we've got the pixelating transitions in between these clips. Now, and if at any time any of these functions that we're going over you want to know more about, you've got two options up here, assist me and show me. I suggest checking these out when you get a chance, but not right now because you're watching me do it. But the show me actually has a list of videos that covers a lot of these editing functions that will go into a pretty good detail on how to do certain things, and who knows, you might learn something. But anywho, let's go ahead and click the finish. We've got our transitions in here now. Let's show the zoom and pan function. Get this guy back to the beginning, and I'm going to cheat a little bit, move my marker up here right into the transition. So we're just about ready to start the video. And hit pause. Because I want to enhance this. I want to enlarge this. I want to bring your attention from all over here to right here. So let's go over here to the zoom and pan. And as you may have noticed, I played the video through until I wanted to add this function. And then I hit pause. So now we go to zoom and pan brings up this and again we've got these cool buttons up here by all means click them out or check them out by clicking on them and the show me again will list the videos and assist me will kind of walk you through the process but let's go ahead and click on this and scroll down here this shows you what we are currently seeing on the screen over here but we just want to show you this we want to highlight this so go up here so you got the four arrows we just want the two left click on the mouse hold and drag, 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 then get your uh, four arrows in the in the green box there and just drag it up to where you want to highlight. Then let go and it shows you here. Drag it over here and it shows you here. You can increase it however you want, but this is how you do the zoom and pan. So this is what I want to show you right now. Eh, get a little more centered. Then after we're done, Oh, a couple more things. You can zoom speed here, where it's fast, instantaneous, or slow. I just leave it at fast. That works fine for me. Probably work great for you as well. The slow will slow the zoom and the pan down, but it also increases the file size too, which will in turn increase the download time for your viewers. So keep that in mind. Click OK. Now then, where the marker is at is where the video is going to start. So let's kind of back up a sec. Play, play, play. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Boom. Now then, pause because I want to pan back out to the full screen. Click on that again. And again, this shows us what is currently over here. But you can either drag this back up to the corners here or click this guy right here. Show entire screen. Bada bing, bada boom. We're there. And again, you got the options here for the speed in which you want it to show the entire screen or zoom into a certain part. Click OK. Marker's still there. Let's play it through so we can show the entire zoom and pan back out. Zooming in. Panning out. Voila. And we'll go ahead and stop this for now. Now, of course, to finish all this up, we've got to click Finish get back here. So we are good to go. This is it folks. Um, 
we're going to go ahead and cover some of the callouts and some of the other functions here in the next video. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned.